Glenarm and the Clash of the Celtic Giants. This is the third year for this fantastic event and we can certainly promise you plenty of excitement over the two days. Yes, in our next programme we bring you the Highland Games, but today it's the turn of the international strongman super teams. Competing in this year's event are two teams, the Celts, led by three times Britain's strongest man, Glenn. Yes! And the Vikings, led by the world's strongest man, Sven Carlson. Now, the last major battle between the Celts and the Vikings took place in Clondarf in Dublin in 1014, and the Celts were victorious. So, Sven, are you back here at Glenarm for revenge? We are back here to prove that we are the best. We are not here to claim any land because the weather is way too miserable here. So we're just here to prove that we are the best and how can we really lose. You said it, I'm world's strongest man and here we are with Joko Holo, he's two times world's strongest man. We have Torbjörn Samuelsson, he's Sweden's strongest man. And then we have René Minquist, two times world's strongest man finalist and the strongest man of Denmark. So how can we really lose? Statistics are good, Stephen. Yes, but Glenn, surely not. Tell us about your impressive lineup here. Well, on the Celt team, we've got Jesson Pollen from Quebec and Aid Rollinson, Andrew Rains, all world's strongest man finalists, and myself, three times Britain's strongest man. We're a proud Celtic warrior race, and we're sure to win. That's what I like to hear. A scary man, fighting talk from both the captains. Time now for the first event, the strongman medley. In our first event, our teams race against each other in relay fashion. Both team captains will flip these tires over the first 10 meters of the course. And once this line is broken with the tyre, they tag a teammate to carry these super yokes weighing almost 60 stone for a further 15 metres. Waiting at the end of that 15 metre run will be the next team member who, once tagged, will drag this sledge for a further 20 metres. And when the line is broken with the sledge, they tag the final team member who do the farmer's walk for 25 metres, carrying these gas bottles. And they're heavy. And Glenn Ross has just been telling me that these gas bottles weigh 26 stone each, which makes this the heaviest farmer's walk ever in competition. Give us a hand with this, will you? As if. <laughs> and they're off. Glenn Ross for the Celts on the left, Carlson for the Vikings on the right, and it's Carlson who's made the better start. A former power lifter for his country, flipping this tyre with ease. And would you believe it weighs almost a ton. Glenn Ross behind at the moment. Carlson has already handed over to Torborn Samuelson. And Ross has finished now as well. He tags Adrian Rollinson. Carrying these super yokes for 15 metres. And they weigh about 60 stone. And Rollinson has edged in front. Well, that's a good performance by Rollinson. They're neck and neck at the moment. Samuelson, Sweden's strongest man against Rollinson, the Englishman, and he's finished. He hands over to his countryman, Andrew Rains. They call him Stumpy. Well, that's because he's only five foot five. And he's finding it hard to get a grip on the turf here at Glenarm. Now, Andrew Rains has handed over to his captain, Glenn Ross, who can help out at any stage if need be. Minkwitz making good progress. Glenn Ross, I think, is closing the gap a little. And these sleighs weigh 44 stone. That's a lot of bags of potatoes. Ross hands back to Stumpy Reigns. Reigns finished 10th in World's Strongest Man last year. The Celts behind and trailing. And the Vikings are on to the Farmer's Walk, the last section of the Strongman medley. And this is Yuku Ahala, twice former World's Strongest Man. The Finn has come out of retirement for this, completing a formidable lineup for the Vikings, and it's a walk in the park for Ahala. The Vikings will take a win in the opening event. Strike one to them. So it's all over for the Celts. Disappointing start for Glenn Ross's team. You must be particularly happy with the first event, considering you came out of retirement for this, the games today. Yeah, this is... Uh... Uh, my first competition since uh, September 1999, so I have to be very pleased that I did so well. But uh, maybe this is because uh, because of the work what I'm doing. I'm uh, working with my hands. I'm a carpenter, and uh, you have to have good grip when you are doing that. So maybe that is uh, helping you. So a maximum 10 points for the Vikings, five points for winning, and five points for completing the course, but nothing for the Celts because they failed to finish. 
in the deadlift hold, all 14 members must lift this frame together, a combined weight of two tons. Each team must achieve a successful lift to gain five points, and the team that holds the frame up for the longest period of time gets an extra five points for winning the event. Athletes, take your position. The combined weight of these four men, 95 stone. But it's really nothing to do about In their weight. Time, it's all lift. to do about brute strength. Clock on. The clock has started. The clock has started. They have to lock the muscles and hold this incredible weight for as long down, as down. possible. No problem, sir. Remember, it's two tons rolling on there. Just look at the expression on their faces. Well, Glenn Ross, what a great power lifter he is. This one of his strengths, and he looks very comfortable at the moment. Jesson Pollard on the left-hand side, you saw him wobble a little there, but the legs are locked. Well, no problems there. Nice, steady breathing. But definitely struggling is the Canadian from Quebec. But the two men in the middle, Stumpy Reigns and Glenn Ross, are looking Nice and easy still. 50 seconds gone. This is a great performance. And it's down. 57 seconds. And Andrew Rain seems to have hurt himself a little. He still looked to be quite comfortable holding the weight. But I think it was uh, Paulin on the end who had had enough. In your own time, lift. Clock on. They're away. The combined weight of this team, 87 stone. But as you saw with the Celts, nothing to do with their weight. It's all about brute strength. Ten seconds. They lock the knees, lock the arms. And 57 seconds is the target to beat, remember. And already Sven Carlson is puffing and blowing a little bit. Seconds. They're past 20 seconds. Nice and comfortable there. Ahala on the right-hand side of your 30. picture isn't even blowing at all. But the man alongside him, Carlson, the world's strongest man, remember, is definitely struggling, and the Finn is encouraging his teammate. Grimacing a lot there. 45. 10 seconds to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. I think they're gonna do it. Oh, they've dropped it, and just short of the target. One second they've missed it by, and you can see the disappointment there on Carlson's face. Well, he enjoyed that, didn't he? What a great event that was. Well, Glenn, a second or less in it, uh, good performance. Well, it's like a goal in football, it all counts, you know, and uh, the lads really put on a fantastic performance there after the first event, so we're only five points away from them now, and we're going to go on and win this. So a maximum 10 points for the Celts. Good performance from them. The Vikings get five. So after round two, the Vikings have 15 points. The Celts get 10 and close the gap to five. This huge log weighs an amazing 27 stone, exactly the weight of Glenn Ross. Now, how do you fancy lifting that? Each team takes it alternately, the Celts first, then the Vikings, and each man has 60 seconds to lift the log as many times as possible. As soon as the log is released, that's the end of his turn. And for every lift, you get one point, so it's a good chance for the Celts to close the five-point gap on the Vikings. Well, as Rennie Minkfitz prepares to lift the log, I can tell you that four men have already lifted, and the totals at the moment are Celts 24, and Vikings 20, so Rennie really needs a good 21. lift here to put pressure on the Celts. 22, 23, 24. Well, he's just lifted five personally, so 26. easily. 27. Seven for himself, 28. eight for himself, total of 28. 29. Nine, and he really is making it look 30. easy. I think he might 31. just beat the personal tally of 12. That's 11, he needs one more. Come on. Come on. 32. And he's got it. Come on, no. 32 total. Come on, Take your position. 
25. Adrian Rollinson was tipped to win Britain's strongest man 27. this year, but then got injured. He's on his way back to full recovery. 29. And here at Glenarm last year, 30. he excelled at this event. 31. 32. Oh, and he's going great guns here. 33. That takes the lead. 34. 35. 36. That's 12 for himself. 37. And that's the best performance so far. Easy. Come on, Eddie. One more. One more. One more. Eddie. Big game. Yeah, yeah. And he's got another one. Big game now. Yeah. Great display by Rollinson. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Sven Carlson. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. The current world's strongest 40, man. 41, Needs a big, big display 42, here to set a target. Down. Forty-four. For the Celts captain, Glenn Ross, to try and match. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. That's sixteen for himself. 49, 17 for himself and 18 for himself that's the half century 51 is the target to beat down 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 40 glenn ross 41 wait for the count 42 43 he needs 13 himself 44, to beat the total. 45. Come on, then, 46. Easy. Just five on, away then, from easy. equaling it. 47. Come on, then, easy. 48. Three away. Come on, then, Come on, then. Great easy. performance 50. by the current on, British strongman. 51. On, he's equaled it. This to beat it. And he's got it. Come on, then, well, awesome performance by Glenn Ross. How do you do by the home support and he's done it looking for his 15th one himself but a personal tally of 14 good enough for the Celts to take victory you made that look easy Sven uh, it's one of my favourite events so I was very happy with the result the only problem was that I beat me beat us totally by two reps and it's hard to swallow and also we get beaten in the deadlift hole by one second it's also very hard to swallow but it's going to make the our vikings very very angry but of course glenn you were the daddy in that round well uh, the team comes through there at the end but uh, as an individual i was disappointed that sven sort of got an extra rep than me you know but that's life in the fast lane so those 53 lifts by the Celts to the Vikings 51 closes the gap to three points. The Vikings have 66, the Celts 63. In this event, the team have to lift a full-size builder skip loaded with gas bottles. Both teams successfully lifted 110 stone above that block of wood that required four inches off the ground. More gas bottles were lifted in, which increased the weight to 135 stone, and again, both teams were successful. Then the weight was increased to an incredible 160 stone, and despite a number of attempts in the one-minute time limit, the Vikings could not complete the lift. So the Celts knew that if they achieved a successful lift, they would win the event. cheering them on. Well, the left-hand side was up, but it's all about balance, it's all about timing, and they've done it. Superb performance by Glenn Ross's man. Oh, he enjoyed that, didn't he? The two experienced campaigners, Glenn Ross and Adrian Rollinson, are delighted, along with Andrew Rains and Jesson Pollan. They're the leaders after four events. Great stuff. So another win for the Celts, a maximum 10 points for them, and for the first time in the tournament, they take the lead 73 to 71.
men today. Of course, you're surrounded by strong men, but to think you're the strongest, you're the world's strongest man. Hmm. How does it feel? Uh, really good, actually, because I think it's every boy's childhood dream to become the world's strongest man, or at least have the world's strongest daddy. And my son actually has that. And it's a wonderful feeling. I really love it. I really enjoy it. I fight hard for it. And I, I fortunately to have the genes to do it. And it's been a really good, it's, it's really nice. I love it. I, I'm all around the world. and to sign my autograph and sign it with World's Strongest Man under it really feels good. In our next event, we've got two boats filled with barrels and the boats weigh an amazing 120 stone each. Each team must try and pull their boat along this 20 meter course. First team to cross the finish line is the winner. It's five points for completing the course and a bonus five points for the winner. And the teams are away in this event called the Super Smugglers Boats. The Vikings just ahead at the moment. It's going to be a tight contest, this. At the front of the Vikings, that's Torborn Samuelson, whose brother Magnus Samuelson was a former world's strongest man. And the Vikings are in front at the moment. Leading off the Celts team is Jesson Pollen. He loves these pulling events and you can see he's putting everything into it, but it's not going to be enough because the Vikings are storming away here and they're nearly across the finish line. They're there. A win for the Vikings and an easy one too, but the Celts still want to complete the course. It's an important five points and just look at the strain. Look at the effort. They're almost there. Well, just look at the effort on the faces of the Vikings. They really did put everything into that. And it's the Vikings who take the full 10 points. So, Sven, are you happy? I told you. It's just, it's just against nature for Celts to win for the Vikings. <laughs> After the fifth round, the Vikings go back in front by three points, 81 to them. The Celts have 78. In this event, we have two walls and 12 barrels. The 14 members with their barrels stand two here and two over there. The first person on each side lifts a barrel, loads it onto the wall, comes back and tags their teammate who loads the next one. If one side finishes before the other, they can head across and help their teammates. The teams work in pairs. First off for the Celts is Rollinson and Reigns. That first keg weighed 85 kilograms. Rollinson has two kegs up on this side. The second one weighs 100 kilograms. Glenn Ross takes over. And Reigns has the fourth barrel up at 130 kilograms. Rollinson helps him out. Rollinson with the fifth barrel. 40 seconds gone. And Paulin on the other side. Glenn Ross, the team captain. This is 160 kilograms for Ross. Up she goes. And he's there on this side. Now Reigns on the other side. He's got the 145 barrel up. Only one man allowed at the podium at a time. Now here's Pollen. Jess and Pollen, 160 kilograms. It's a massive weight. They're almost there. Egged on by the team. One minute and 22 seconds. That's a cracking time from the Celts. They're away. Samuelson, 85 kilogram barrel, easy. Now on the other side, Ahal is going well. You'll have seen this event in the world's strongest man, except they lift stones. And Ahal is a world record holder for lifting the stones. He should make easy work of this. Oh, he's made a mistake. He's dropped the first barrel. So big mistake from the expert. Has to go back and lift that first 85 kilogram barrel. Well, that will slow things up. But on the other side, the fourth barrel's already been lifted by Samuelson, 135 kilograms. 130 kilograms. 
Now Carlson, world's strongest man, takes over on the left-hand side. They're trailing a bit. Coming up to 45 seconds gone. Fourth barrel goes up now, but this is a great performance from Renny Minkfitz. He's already on the last barrel, 160 kilograms. He made light work of that, and this pair is finished. That was a great performance from Samuelson and Minkfitz. Now on the other side, Samuelson has the fifth barrel up. One minute and three seconds have gone. Remember, 122 is the target to beat. They've got about 15 seconds. It's going to be tight. Renny Minkfitz has moved in. Last barrel to left. He's almost there. I think he's going to do it. He's got about seven seconds. Oh, he's dropped it. This looks like a victory for the Celts. Four seconds. Three, two, one. And Carlson can't make it. Disappointment for the Vikings. They still want to complete, though, in the 90 seconds. And they've done that with a second to spare. That gets them five points anyway. Oh, but an injury by the looks of things. And that, yes, it's Renny Minkfitz. So an injury to Minkfitz. He really was trying hard to lift that last barrel. Glenn Ross celebrates with his Celtic teammates. Well, disappointment for Rennie Minfitz. It looks like the end of the competition for him. Just watch here. He drops the barrel and damages his bicep. So we have to sit out the last two events in the P&O Strongman Super Teams. Well, the lead seems to change hand after every round. The Celts are now back in front with 88 points. The Vikings have 86. In this event, the teams go head to head. They must squat down under this bar and lift the Jeep. A successful lift is called when the knees are locked out. Now, each team member gets one minute to lift as many times as possible, and one lift equals one point. Three. Well, after the injury to Rene in the last event, a sporting gesture from Glenn Ross, he declared that the Celts would compete with only three members of their team in the last two events. And first up for the Celts in the squad was Stumpy Reigns against Yuka Ahala for the Vikings. It was a great battle with Ahala managing 14 lifts, while Stumpy edged the Celts ahead with 16. <laughs> Next up on the left is Jesson Pollen for the Celts. And on the right, Torbor Samuelson for the Vikings. 75 seconds, remember. And Jesson Pollen has started well. One already, now two for him. That's a cumulative total of 18. But Torbor Samuelson, I can tell you he's struggling. He's struggling to lift the Jeep, that's all. But Jesson Pollen's going well and a big shock. Samuelson's gone. So no lifts for Samuelson. Their tally stays at 14. But Jesson Pollen's still going. That's a personal seven for him. That makes the total 23. Well, it's not a pretty face, but it's a great performance. Another lift, eight for him, a total of 24. And that's a big advantage now for the Celts. They lead by 10. the finale. It's the captains head to head on the left, Glenn Ross, on the right, then Carlson. And just look at this for a start by the world's strongest man, like a steam train. And just look at what it's doing to the totals. He's really eating into the advantage. Glenn Ross is going pretty well too. Carlson has a personal 17. That gives the Vikings a total of 31. Ross has now 11 and they lead by four. Well, Carlson lifted those first 17 in under 30 seconds. The Celts are well in front. This is a big display by Glenn Ross. But Carlson hasn't finished yet. That's another three and four for him. He's finished now. It's a good win for the Celts, but it's a personal battle. Carlson lifted 21. Ross has 19. Can he beat it? That's a big lift for 20. But he's had enough. An overall win for the Celts, but Glenn Ross will be disappointed he didn't beat Carlson. Says he's the daddy, but Carlson disagrees. They're good friends anyway. Andrew, you were hoping for success in this event, and the Celts have got it. I'm sure you're absolutely delighted. Yeah, uh, I'm really pleased. I mean, uh, I think we've had uh, the look of the Irish um, in this competition. The green T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. And um, we have had a, a, a decent bit of luck. But the, all the lads have stuck together and uh, even when we've had some bad results we've still put together as a team and uh, really good, I mean, touch wood, I'm hoping that uh, 
that, you know, we'll win the, the overall competition. So with a point given for every rep in that event, the Celts scored 44 to the Vikings 35. And overall, the Celts now have an 11-point advantage. But with double points available in the final event, the Vikings can still catch them. And so to the final round of this year's Strongman Super Team events, the Power Stairs. And at this stage, both teams can still win the title. Yes, it's all to play for, and this is a good event. It begins by the two captains carrying a 200 kilogram weight up these stairs. Then they must run down and tag their teammates, who have to carry another four weights to the top. The last one is 300 kilograms. When they complete that to finish, the team captain brings his whole team to the top, and the first team here is the winner. Two minutes to complete the course. It's 10 points if you do that, and 10 points for the winning team. Glenn Ross has made a good start for the Celts, but Carlson's made an even better one for the Vikings. Now, if neither team completes the course, then the team which gets most wits to the top will be the winner. Jesson Paulson's going well. He's got the second weight. It weighs 225 kilograms to the top, but Ahal is having a few problems. He's struggling to get that second weight up for the Vikings. He's almost there now. Got it. And the weights must be fully onto the top platform. On the left, that's Adrian Rollinson. On the right, it's Torbor Samuelson. And they're just about neck and neck. Rollinson trying to get a 250 kilogram weight onto that fourth step. Samuelson slips. This is a tough, tough event. He's got it onto the fourth step. One minute. Well, Rollinson's had enough, and Jesson Pollen's taken over. Both the men trying to get the 250 weight onto the top platform. Pollen's there. Samuelson's having problems. Now the captain, Glenn Ross, one minute and 15 seconds gone, so they've got 45 seconds to complete the course. Carlson, the captain, has got the 250 kilogram weight to the very top. 15 seconds remaining. What can Jesson Pollen do? Can he get this weight to the top to secure overall victory for the Celts? Two steps to go. Al has got three steps, but he's going well too. That looks like Carlson's taken over. You can tell by the tattoos on the arm. It's all over. And Jesson Pollen gets the fourth one to the top. Get the champions. They have won the power stairs. Four blocks to the top to the Vikings three. And Glenn Ross celebrates as the overall winners of the International Strongman event. So confirmation of the winners of the International Strongman Super Teams, the Celts, by 21 points. Glenn, what a close contest, but hey, you're victorious, I'm sure you're delighted. Yes, yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic, a complete team effort from start to finish. We started off very badly, but it just team...